everyone, it's me, Dre, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name's Andrea, and I love making lifestyle, family, and decor videos. And if you're a return subscriber, thank you for joining. As you guys might have noticed, I've been MIA for this past month, and unfortunately, um, most of you know I'm an ICU nurse, and so we've had increased amount of cases of COVID, and unfortunately, we've also had some staff members get sick, and so this whole past month was really a focus on um, my work at the hospital. But I'm back today and I am so excited to share with you this video because it is all about my crystal collection. So I love, love, love collecting crystals. I've um, always loved crystals. Even when I was a little kid, I would just, you know, kids are obsessed with finding pretty rocks. Well, my obsession has grown to include crystals. And so I'm so excited to share with you my passion for crystals and how I use them, what they're good for. So let's go take a look at my crystal collection. I am so excited to share my crystal collection with you. So here you can see an overview of all of my crystals. It's not a huge collection, but these are all crystals that I really love. So let's go ahead and get started with this crystal right here, which is our amethyst crystal. This one is my amethyst cluster, and I just love this one. It's one of my favorites that I own. And I feel like I'm saying this about every single one of my crystals, but truly this one has to be at least in the top three. I love how shiny it is. It's so beautiful. I also have a amethyst geode. So it was broken from a bigger rock and I love this one as well. It has a bunch of smaller crystals. And then I have um, just a bunch of different other types of amethyst. This one I think has so much character to it. Take a look at that. It reminds me of kind of like a root, like it was uprooted from the earth. And then I have some other pieces. I have this little tiny amethyst tower and I love this one. I think it's so beautiful. All these colors are super relaxing. So what I like to do with my amethyst crystals is I like to keep one by my bedside and I like to um, pour some lavender oil in a diffuser and just relax with this super soothing crystal. What I want to show you is a stone that I just love the color to and that is rose quartz. So rose quartz is known as the stone of unconditional love and I have rose quartz all over throughout my house. In fact, if you've seen some of my videos, you've probably, you've definitely seen this piece. This piece is a newer piece to me and it's a rose quartz tower and I just love, love, love rose quartz. It's so beautiful, it's so calming to stare at and I like to put them up as decor pieces and I feel like they just bring a very um, calming energy to my house. So I have rose quartz in various places in my home. Okay, the next stone I wanna share with you is selenite. So selenite is a powerful cleansing stone and an energy amplifier so lots of people have these selenite discs that they use to recharge their other crystals um, I like to use selenite for meditation purposes and I believe this guy here this selenite tower was actually one of the very first crystals that I actually purchased I also have a cute selenite heart and a selenite wand Okay, the next crystal I want to share with you is clear quartz. Now, clear quartz is a great beginner crystal. If you're just starting to look into crystals or you would like to purchase one, I would say start off with clear quartz. And the reason is, is clear quartz is known as a master healing crystal. It amplifies energy, creativity, and clarity. And I just love this crystal. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a little uh, small, crystal coming off the side of it and this crystal does have some flaws it has a crack but I actually like it I think it adds to the character of the crystal okay the next crystal I have to share with you is rainbow fluorite I just love all the beautiful bands of color in this crystal tower and I also have this cute little crystal point and this tumbled rock 
So rainbow fluorite has a calming energy and is used um, basically for any chaos or disorganization. I love rainbow fluorite because as you can see here, there's never two pieces that look exactly the same. And I just love staring at all the different colors in this crystal. The next crystal I wanna share with you is Phenocyte. Now this little guy comes to me from Russia. He is new to my collection and Phenocyte is a highly sought after stone because it's very high in vibration and frequency. So Phenocyte is used to amplify intent and it also helps increase positive energy. So for as small as this little stone is, it, believe it or not, this is the most expensive crystal in my collection. I have to be so careful with it because my kids love playing in my crystals and I always have to put it in a special spot because as you can see this little guy looks like he'll get lost very easily. The next stone I am going to show you is a little stone but he's mighty and that is the smoky quartz crystal. So this stone is known to be a grounding crystal and this is one of my go-to crystals that I love to carry around. So um, this crystal is really good for manifestation and it's also good to dispel any negative energy. I love smoky quartz. This is the only piece I have right now of smoky quartz but I hope to get another um, stone soon. Here we have smaller crystals in my collection. First, we're gonna start with this beautiful light blue crystal. This is Celestite. Celestite is a crystal that enhances psychic energy. This crystal is a really fun one. My kids love this stone. This is Argonite. Argonite is a earthly stone and it enhances um, healing. This beautiful dark blue stone is Sodalite and Sodalite increases intuition and perception. And this beautiful translucent stone is opalite. Now opalite is a man-made stone, but this crystal helps with communication and it's a really good stone to meditate with. Moving on over here to this green stone. This is green adventuring. Green adventuring is a soothing stone used to attract abundance and success. Over here, this is a beautiful black stone. This is black obsidian, and it is used to relieve anxiety and support um, people during times of grief. And next over here, we have this black crystal. This is black tourmaline, and it helps absorb any negative energy. The next stone I would like to share with you is carnelian. This is my carnelian palm stone, and carnelian is good for um, energy. It can help you with physical energy. It's also known as the stone of motivation. So a lot of people use this carnelian stone if they um, would like to inspire some creativity or become motivated in some way. This next stone in my collection, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I fell in love with it because deep inside this little crevice, there's tons of tiny little sparkles in there, and I just fell in love with it and had to get it. Okay, so the next crystal I want to share with you is Carborundum. Carborundum is actually a man-made crystal, but take a look at how beautiful it is. It is super iridescent and... I just love the shape of it. It reminds me of a crystal tower. So carborundum is used to um, dispel negative energy. You can put this near an entryway or near a windowsill. And also it is supposed to help with lucid dreaming. So if that's something you're interested in, you can put it by your bedside at night. Me personally, I just love the way this looks. It looks different than any other crystal I own. And it truly is one of my favorites. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I had so much fun showing you my crystal collection. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. And I will catch you on my next video. Bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's
Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Crickets see the moon Side by side and